subdivide the property into three lots, two lots which would still face Austin Street and then an 80 foot piece that he's proposing to be rezoned would actually have it placed on Patriot, okay? Uh, he has a plat submitted in our office. Uh, it's being reviewed at this time. So it's not, it's not like he's waiting for this to happen. He's actually running the two concurrently. He's doing that at his own risk. He understands that it's subject to uh, this rezoning be done. Of course, if the zoning doesn't get approved, he can still replat it in the configuration he's proposing. It would just be, it would just remain as a residential lot. Um, in, in your packets, um, basically, um, you, you, you probably are very familiar with the with the adjoining uh, land uses. You've got the uh, uh, the post office. It's actually the detention pond portion of the post office that's to the west. You've got Ward Johnson Woodworking Shop that's to the south. You have uh, residential homes that are to the north across Austin Street. And you have a mix of things to the east. You have a you have one row of lots that front Austin Street on the east, and then you have commercial Catfish Haven and, and the, the businesses that are there on K Street. Um, the, the land use plan. Um, I've tried to summarize what what it includes on your on page eight of your packet. You'll see this is a big, huge red circle, and that is a, is a general land concept that was presented as part of the comprehensive plan that was adopted and basically I provided you with a definition of a, of a commercial center. It's obviously a very large kind of concept uh, and I'll just read the definition. Um, it's defined as a center that is located at the intersection of two existing or planned major arterials. They're intended to include community and regional ser serving shopping centers and malls. Some office or service uses may also locate here. Residential or hospitality uses may also be considered if they can be included in a compatible way. For new centers, the design should reduce the need for multiple automobile trips between stores. Um, so trying to evaluate this 80-foot strip in the context of a commercial center is a little bit difficult because that assumes that somebody is probably taking the, a larger area and, and, and intending to develop a mixed use kind of development or something like that. So we don't have we don't have that as a consideration or a proposal. So in, in my opinion, it, it, it does uh, indicate a, 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 a general trend toward a commercial type zone. Um, if this track was isolated or separate, uh, we would not recommend it be commercial at all. But because it's being considered uh, in our opinion as essentially an extension of, of a commercial zone that's there would be the only reason we would even be willing to consider a change to a commercial zone as opposed to keeping all of those in. In addition to that, looking at the, the surrounding zoning to the south, the surrounding zone, land uses, and the fact that he's keeping, uh, maintaining an R1 zone to the north uh, between the existing residential, um, we would recommend that, uh, that the zoning be changed. Now, uh, we have not received any comments for or against. Uh, we sent out letters to the list of to the people on the list that you have in your packet. Um, and uh, with that, I've also noted here that the commission, you have a couple of options. You can either concur with our recommendation, which is to approve the zone change to the council, uh, obviously, you can recommend a denial of the, of the application, or or you can recommend a lesser zoning or a C1 type zoning. Um, but we do recommend it. Thank you. A couple of questions, Brian, please. Um, is there any fencing requirement for that um, zoning change between residential and commercial? In other words, would you have to put up a barrier or, or a fence? When, when the prop, as it's currently, if, if the zoning were to be changed and if a commercial business were to come in there and develop, they would be responsible for putting up a fence if there's not one already between the commercial zoning and the residential zoning. That's correct. Okay. And the second question, uh, any thoughts as to traffic impact if this becomes a commercial uh, development or, or office park or anything else? 
given the intersection nearby. You mean the intersection with Main Street? Yeah, well, the, no, a little bit further west towards the Y, right? So there was a little traffic pattern change where traffic would come, come off North K onto, onto Main Street. Would that be an issue for us to, to be concerned about? Um, well, it, it certainly would increase or could potentially increase the traffic um, if you have a commercial business there. I mean, the one advantage is if you have a relatively small tract of land, that the increase would be minimal. Um, uh, you know, the other op the other advantage, I guess, or the other option is that they would have the ability to go multiple routes to get off out of the bike and go shoot off the street and go back to or the post office and they can come back down to the east and go to to uh, Cherry Street. Um, yeah, and it is trying to get from either of those properties on the north side back towards town is, is definitely a, a, a challenge. Yeah. Um, it made a little bit in some people's minds easier, but in some people's minds more complicated going back to the intersection of the Y. Yeah. But uh, uh, at least there's a light intersection there now. Proposed to do is over <clears throat> zoning request Z1205 change the zoning from all one single family residential district to C2 commercial.